Angela Shafley was uh, speaking to students at Citadel College in South Carolina, and during the speech, she thought that she would take a few jabs at feminists. So, um, first of all, she says, find out if your girlfriend is a feminist before you get too far into it. Some of them are pretty. They don't all look like Bella Abzug. <laughs> I love how she surprises. Some of them might be pretty. But, and so don't let them trick you by being pretty, okay? Because then they might go, I'm a feminist. And then what happens? Like, but then all of a sudden you have to be like, oh, okay, uh, I uh, now change all my political positions. I mean, are they going to beguile you and all, bewitch you? And they're going to do the Callista eyes on you and be like, you will now also become a feminist. <laughs> okay, or that you're so worried about how hot they are, you want to stay in the relationship, and hence you change your positions. Do you think men are that weak? Is that what you think, Phyllis? No, what's amazing to me is, look, some people have like a negative, as soon as they hear feminist, they have that negative connotation, right? Mm -hmm. Because some of them might be too radical, and I understand those legitimate points. At the same time, people like Phyllis Shafley, she just hates women who gave her the rights that she's taking advantage of now. She's speaking in front of a college. You think you'd be able to speak in front of a college without the help of people who fought for your rights? And by the way, for you to talk about feminists being unattractive, really, really? <laughs> Here's who's not going to accidentally trick anyone in her position via her looks. No, I mean, you open up the issue, Phyllis. I mean, we didn't want to make, we're liberals. We want to get along with everybody. We don't want to, well, yeah. you want to talk about how feminists are ugly, right? That's the conversation you want to have? She also <laughs> says, feminists are having a hard time being elected because they essentially are unlikable. I think you're unlikable, <laughs> among <And> other things. <laughs> I don't even understand where that hatred for women's rights comes from when you have a vagina. <laughs> like, where does it come? I just don't understand it. And believe me, I know there are definitely feminists that are too radical. They don't fight for equality, right? They mm -hmm. want basically men to lose rights. Like, there mm -hmm. are definitely women out there like that, right? But mm -hmm. it's a fringe group of feminists that kind of give the entire feminist population a bad name. No, you know so what? So it's unfair to them. I, I can tell you, actually, and because it's because of the pendulum. And so let's be fair here, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, in the 1960s and, and into the 70s, uh, liberals had a lot of power. You know, people forget that, right? But it, they, that world actually existed. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this in the past a lot. You know, Ralph Nader's doing a great job getting seatbelts, OSHA, EPA. We get Nixon to pass the EPA, and, you know, we're running rough shot, and it's great because we're protecting consumers, at yada, yada. And women were gaining more and more rights, and it was a, it was a great moment in time. Civil rights is happening in the 60s and 70s. African Americans are getting a lot more rights. They're getting introduced into the workforce. And then since any time one group of people have that much power, uh, they, will be, they will start to get more and more fringe and extreme sometimes. Some of them will, not all of them. And the pendulum swings too far, and so were there some extreme feminists, mm -hmm. you know, that's, oh, you shouldn't even have sex with men, they're useless, everybody should turn into lesbians, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Did that exist? Yes, it did exist. Uh, and for a brief moment, the thought of all women being bisexual was a pleasant one. Uh, but it didn't last, and so now people like Phyllis Schlafly got frozen in time. So she still thinks it's, you know, 1969 or 1973 or whatever, and she still hates the feminists. And so she's like, I don't want to be a lesbian! And by the way, she doth protest too much, okay? And so she's like, I hate the feminists! But meanwhile, what has happened? Women have lost, uh, the pendulum has swung the other way. When women have lost power, now in Wisconsin, as I said earlier in the show, they repealed the law that would give women equal pay. So, like, you don't even get equal pay anymore. They're repealing those oh, laws. Oh, Phyllis, she got excited about that one. Look yeah. at fire under her ass. <laughs> now, uh, the, the other extreme has come, right, against women's rights. Mm -hmm. uh, but these people never adjust. And to them, they're robots. And Phyllis, here's what you should never forget. Without feminists, you wouldn't be giving a speech in front of a college, as Anna pointed out. You'd be making a sandwich. Yeah, in the kitchen. That's where you would belong. Okay, so uh, <laughs> eh, next time you criticize feminists, Think about mayonnaise, mustard, tomatoes, and lettuce, and look into it for your husband.